That's the name of the game, and it is an absolutely stellar RTS, and there's a lot of features in this one that I want to see in future real-time strategy games. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to a big update for regiments known as Second Wave, adding a bunch of new factions, including the UK, and a few more for Belgium, and I think a few more for other NATO countries. Now, this game has been around for just a little while, but it certainly is like wargame European Escalation, maybe more like Air Land Battle, uh, but if you're a big fan of wargame Red Dragon, or if you're excited for games like Broken Arrow, Regiments is a nice little side dish, like an appetizer for, well, somewhere between wargame and World in Conflict and Broken Arrow. I think it does a fantastic job of fitting into all of those by being very good with its strategy. Uh, the game itself features some skirmishes, which we're going to take a look at here today. We're going to defend the front lines because here comes the Leos. The Leopard tanks are going to be available, and we're going to defend as West Germany against a full-scale Soviet invasion. I'm sure that'll go fine for them, <laughs> no doubt whatsoever of their capabilities. I'm sure if they were to do anything in modern time... Oh, never mind. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this game features like a full campaign with operations on both the uh, Eastern Bloc and uh, NATO sides, and uh, both defensive and offensive operations and also skirmish mode which pretty much offers all the factions that I mentioned as well as all the maps that you might find in the campaign mode which is pretty cool because then you can practice them every everything from uh, the front line which is like a defensive line uh, with an invasion taking place to even airfields and mines and other things like that and they're really cool and uh, this game has a lot of replayability a lot of things that you can increase or decrease for the enemy increase their accuracy put them on master difficulty and give yourself a quite a big disadvantage and see how long you can hold or give yourself the advantage and learn how tanks and how the ai reacts well without further ado make sure you go ahead and smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already and check out regiments now it's out on steam and still getting support and from micropros the same people who pump out a lot of other great real-time strategy games this is a good one it's a good one to have in the library for sure all right we're going to defend as uh, west germany Panzer Brigade 9 versus a random Soviet force. We'll see how they do. Let's go. Front lines of battle. Okay, we're starting with a few Leopard 2A4s, and we'll have some more things on the way in about a minute and 48 seconds. We'll get access to additional vehicles to deploy on the front line. The enemy will be advancing from the left and the right flanks in front of us, and we must defend these three objectives on the front line and the two just behind. We have a city on our left flank. We have the high ground in the middle, and even more high ground on the right side. Now, interestingly enough, the enemy has a small canal or river in front of them, but uh, they should be able to cross it with their tanks and armored personnel carriers. Looks like there's been a little bit of a battle here before, too. We can see uh, large shell craters, or what would be assumed to be shell craters, pretty much across the whole line of advance. So, here's our plan. We don't really have too much of infantry. We have some Panzer Grenadiers, so we'll put them over here in this city. We also have the ability to call out anti-tank emplacements. We also have observation points. The game allows us to build quite a few defenses here, so we should be able to spend up to 30 engineering points on that, so we could probably get like three AT points up on the hill. And we also have supply trucks that we can use to resupply those points as well. Additionally, the uh, West German Army has locked down some positions here with uh, Panzer Grenadiers and Lukes of their own for observation, recon, and also uh, to hold the enemy back. And there's a few more uh, vehicles on the right side too. Not too much against Soviet armor uh, or transports, but at least the uh, if anything's got a 20 or 30 millimeter on it, somewhere between there, it should be able to punish those BTRs if they advance. BMPs, about the same, but any sort of uh, heavier armor than that will have a little bit of trouble. Okay, let's go ahead and call out a Lukes in the middle so we can keep a a line of sight on pretty much all the enemy movements. We're also going to try to hold this high ground here because, of course, we can cover the left and right flanks from the center. So this is an extra important position for us. We're going to go ahead and hold the uh, right and left with two A4s. I've also turned up a lot of the uh, point income, so we should be able to uh, basically go to the next tier as soon as possible. And uh, we should be able to build defenses anywhere within the blue. So we can't build up here on the hill, unfortunately, but we could do it here. So we're going to try to put as much... AT up here as we can. Now the Soviets will have artillery and it will be rather accurate so the longevity of these ATGMs might be short but at least it'll allow us to fire off some missiles before they're able to find our position and fire on us. So uh, there's two victory points at pretty much each side. So we have uh, Foxtrot and Echo on the left, Alpha Bravo in the center and Delta and Charlie on the right side. 
Now the goal here is eventually to try to evacuate from the front lines, so I guess you could treat it as if a invasion was just launched and that uh, we're now trying to evacuate people from the uh, front lines. It, civilians and uh, valuable equipment, uh, those uh, in medical need, that type of thing. Uh, from what could have been an earlier bombing campaign or something along those lines. All right, well, we've got three ATGMs deployed. We have one on the left flank, two on the hill, pointing both left and right. Actually, one left and one kind of right and center, although they should be able to fire 360 degrees. The kind of half moon in front of them is where they'll be dug in facing that way. In other words, like a claymore, this end towards the enemy. Point that uh, round circle towards the enemy. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and deploy some more troops here. We also have... Uh, Oh, a Flak Panzer Kapard. I've actually driven this vehicle before over a car in Germany, if you can believe it or not. Imagine that. But basically, this thing is going to be perfect against enemy aircraft, which could be uh, sighted soon. But we're going to go ahead and deploy tanks instead and try to keep them on the front lines as best as possible. We're also going to put the Panzer Grenadiers in the city. Imagine that. They'd probably be better in, uh, you know, house-to-house -house fighting rather than just in the open, but very good in the forest, too. And uh, so we'll kind of keep them back, and if the enemy tries to flank us, we'll bring them up. Let's go ahead and also call up that Gepard. We'll keep that in the back to punish enemy aircraft if they get a little too close. And we'll call out what I think is an artillery piece last. This, well, it's more of a mortar, but we can call it out from back here. And we'll have some supplies and stuff with us too. Okay, so the enemy will uh, eventually call out artillery. We will get transports and we'll have to try to pull back everything from this area. So, let the invasion begin. Let's hold against this invasion force and let's have ourselves a victory. Let's begin. Oh. And we're off. It begins. Alright, I already hear artillery, but that's just background noise from the uh, ambient sound effects around us. Lots of fire. This really reminds me of World in Conflict. If you've seen those videos on the channel recently, we're doing a full replay of that game from 2008. And it's incredible seeing all of the... Uh, uh, explosions and buildings on fire and other things in major cities and large structures and oil tanks and other things just ablaze. Very incredible game. Alright, our goal is to escort the transports to the objective zones, protect them during the evacuation, so we need to get transports here to evacuate civilians, let's say. We're going to go ahead and tell them to travel fast, which in this case is F. We'll go ahead and start with the city and tell those transports to pick up uh, possibly military families and others. Oxtrot there on that Oh, we're supposed to only go to these objectives first, so... Alpha and Foxtrot have been approved for evacuation, so we're going to start there. And let's go ahead and put our uh, mortars on the command there so we can fire on them, and then we'll keep the supplies somewhere nearby. Alright, let's move the tanks to the high ground. And we're kind of keeping an eye on where the Soviets may cross. There we go, we have a line of sight on the enemy right now. Go ahead and fire on them. Artillery attack would be under T. And it looks like we have... Actually, we might be able to... Oh, we have artillery smoke to block their vision, but we have BMP-3s on the way. ATGMs are being fired at them, it sounds like. Enemy helicopters have been spotted, too. Now, this enemy is under master difficulty. New task force available. So, best case scenario for the Soviets. We now have a new task force. Now, in this game, this allows us to modify the reinforcements that we get in terms of how the battle is going. So, if the enemy's bringing a massive amount of tanks at us, we can then bring in more tanks, better tanks, or maybe uh, ATGMs or helicopters. Uh, there's many other different types of reinforcements, including uh, helicopters and aircraft and artillery, uh, and also different infantry mixes, too. So, And a great thing is you can also fight side-by-side -side with, like, for example, the Americans. So they could bring in a lot of uh, firepower from the sky, aircraft and helicopters, and maybe good infantry, and then you could bring the tanks as West Germany and hold the line that way. Looks like we have ourselves some more 2A4s, and that's kind of what I'm trying to go with here for today. Uh, we have some helicopters and some other command groups, too, but we're going to go primarily with this. I would like to see some Lukes as well so we can get some recon up, but we're going to go ahead and try to keep our uh, infantry doing that. We also have the Rally ability, Direct Command Intervention Rally, Suppressed Allied Units, and spurs them to, on to fight harder. So basically, if the enemy uh, suppresses us with artillery, it basically destroys that ability, their ability to... Uh, suppress us, and so our units can perform better under pressure. Alright, the evacuations have begun. We need this number at Foxtrot to get to zero. 
And ATGMs are firing. Soviets are taking losses on their BMP-3s. And their tanks have begun to cross. I think this is a Tunguska here. Enemy helicopter is spotted. Yep, that was a Tunguska. We're going to bring that Gepard closer. We'll put him on attack move, but I don't think the helicopters will get any closer. And the evacuation of Alpha has begun as well. Valuable equipment, wounded personnel, other things are being withdrawn from there, secret documents, whatever you want to imagine. I'm going to get our supply up here so we can resupply the ATGMs that are firing on the enemy. And I'm trying to keep back because we want to... Uh, keep those tanks hidden from the helicopters. MI-24Ps are pretty darn good. Okay, now we can return to the evacuation zones with our supplies. I love these game modes. I, I like the game modes of War Game, but the uh, interesting objectives of trying to move around supply and trying to do other things while the battle is going on is highly realistic. Logistics and other things like that having to be moved during warfare. Very, very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get the Gepards to fire on those MI-24Ps. Let's have our mortars fire again. Oh, never mind, the enemy's not really attacking there at the moment. They could be flanking on the far left side. Let's go ahead and take a peek over there with our tanks to ensure that. Gepards are ready to engage the MI-24Ps. They may, may be flying too low for this. No, they're not. Wow, what a weapon. Incoming ATGM. New task force available. Ooh, and a direct hit on one of the Gepards. But one of the choppers looks like it's going down. Yes, indeed. He's popping flares. They've destroyed one of the Gepards. Looks like the other one was destroyed as well. Unfortunately, those knocked out of the battle, but one of the enemy helicopters is severely damaged. And another one destroyed. A big loss for them. We'll go ahead and fire more mortars over here. Looks like they're making a serious advance now with BMP-2s. Infantry will be on board. Right, we're unloading those supplies now. And now we got to go to EPCO. And continue to evacuate. And to Bravo. Orders are falling where the enemy was last sighted with their advancing infantry and tanks. In this game, infantry will dismount from their transports and will advance alongside them to give them fire and they'll work as a combined force. Very interesting that way. Nothing else sighted at the moment. There we go, we got some action now. Okay. Multiple, multiple enemy vehicles, including tanks. Oh, lots of enemy vehicles. Alright, we're going to go ahead and advance now with our tanks. Have our mortars fire accurately on them. They're suppressed. Fall back. We have our rally ability, but we're not going to use it just yet. Let's call in additional Leo 2A4s. We only have 185 points. Each of those Leo 2A4s is 245. New task force available. We are falling back with the Leo 2A4s. Artillery is low on ammunition. Some of the tanks have been hit. We're going to cover the tank's retreat here as they fall back 
into a renewed attack to take back that hill. Smoke rounds are coming down to block those Soviet units' line of sight. And it looks like the city evacuation is complete. Aircraft spotted. Looks like the enemy is coming out of the smoke and is retreating. Our Leopard 2A4s are approaching. More vehicles retreating. Lots of tanks approaching from the left side now. Let's get these vehicles out of there. They're popping smoke and retreating. Center line, large attack. Transports need to retreat through here. Very nice. Leo 2A4s are causing more damage here. All right, we have a new task force at our disposal. We need more, uh, really we need more tanks to call out some of these better units that are not coming in fast enough. We have a Roland, which is anti-aircraft. Let's see, we have uh, Leopard 2A1s, 1A5s. We have Martyrs. Hmm. Luke's would be good for the uh, line of sight. Well, let's get some cheaper tanks out. Let's rally. Alright, we're falling back from this main line. Additional tanks are coming in to support them. Center Hill is heavily suppressed. Gonna smoke out their ATGMs. Enemy tanks eradicated. There's a few of their tanks approaching. VMPs, rather. Or BTRs. That screen there, you saw range and line of sight and other things. Sometimes we can see them before we can shoot them. Panzer Grenadiers are holding the city. Enemy tanks are crossing. Panzer Grenadiers are locked down with M113s in the city. Crazy amount of fire going on in there. A lot of rifles and things firing off. Very exciting. Go ahead and try that smoke artillery again to keep those vehicles from firing on us. Let them fight against the Panzer Grenadiers. Beautiful. That ATGM went right into the dirt because they couldn't see any longer. Alright, let's continue our retreat here. Artillery on their position there. Here, aircraft. Very intense here. Panzer Grenadiers again. Buildings destroyed all over. Oh, and tanks are retreating. PMP2s on the retreat. Ooh, and they're getting hit by ATGMs. Panzer Grenadiers doing a great job. They broke through hard right into an attack. Leopard 2A4 is again performing beautifully. Let's go ahead and get uh, more 2A4s up. Especially in that center. And some 2A1s. Here they come. Transport trucks are returning. Excellent. 
think we have a push on the right flank now. Gonna go ahead and push back on the left side. We'll send some reinforcements to the right flank soon. Because that's where we'll also need to evacuate from. Looks like they've taken some good losses there. Two A1s, two A4s are breaking through. Right back where they belong. Back over the river. All right, let's retake that left flank. Wow, a huge tank battle in the center now. Two A4s are hit there. We need to get them off the hill. We need to be fast on that right flank. Their attack is light. I think that group was able to retreat successfully. They did take some damage, but this is war. Alright, gaining some veterancy here. We have a suppression. Lots of artillery on that position. Let's clear them out. They're low on supply. Aircraft left flank. Failed bombing runs on old positions. Let's get our tanks out of that. Here we go! A German push. Now we can hit him hard. We got a crazy amount of armor on the field. Fire will. Pull that group back. Alright, back into the trees. Make them speak German. Let's go. Another group has retreated. Excellent. Evacuations are complete on the right flank. They're trying their attacks again on the left flank. Tank destroyed on our side. Several tanks and vehicles on their side lost. Roll back into those trees. Okay, these tanks have to fully retreat. We're low on ammo there. Okay, we've got enemy 
Vehicles just parked in the trees on the other side of the river. BMPs. Let's hit them with the artillery. We're moving mortars up now. These mortars will be able to fire on those units in the trees. Let's blind their ATGMs. Transport trucks are retreating successfully. Tanks here on the left flank are going back to the hill. Echo needs additional uh, evacuation. So far, so good. Luke's is going to stay right there and keep an eye on everything. This may be our last evacuation point. Chopper is spotted in the middle. All right, tanks are retreating. A few losses again. Or two A fours to secure the center. Alpha needs to be recaptured. Okay, we're hitting their helicopters now. Breakthrough now. This is going to be a big push. center positions objective completed Ooh, we did it barely but there we go all right wow excellent work so i believe the enemy the 120th guard motor rifle regiment 24 destroyed could be uh, some of the allied units that we had with us too but that was pretty damn amazing excellent work to everybody very well done